What's up everyone? It's your boy Jacob. We just checked into the hotel. We are here in Pittsburgh. We're going to Pittsburgh Pride today with Troy Saban. And um, our hotel just gave us free cookies at, at check-in. Cookie! Um, um, um. <laughs> um, stay at Double Tree, I guess. Yeah. Um, cause you have to, wait, what does it say? Do not enter. All right, we're just trying to figure out where we go. She was like, that low key, our hotel is like on a mountain. It's kind of crazy. All right, we're gonna park and everything, but I wanted to talk about our free cookies cause it's life. All right, so Light Chanel and I, we just checked into the room and um, we're gonna get ready. I brought some wine, so we're gonna get some wine in us, kind of, you know. We just did like a five hour drive, so we deserve it, right? Maybe, I don't know. We're getting a lift to like the city, so we're gonna do that and uh, go get something to eat, yeah. All right, so Blake Cider Mill, which is a local cider mill in Michigan, we I actually brought them. Um, they have a new hard cider called Rainbow Seeker. And funny enough, I'm pretty sure they brought this out and they only bring it out for the summertime, but only during Pride Month. Um, it's got pineapple and sage in there. And um, yeah, we're gonna try it out right now and uh, see how it tastes. All right, cheers. Cheers. Good? Tastes like cider and like pineapple and sage. Yeah, I don't know what else yeah. to say. Why does it taste like a sweet potato? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a sweet potato. It kind of low-key does, though. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What you thinking? I give it a thumbs up. Okay. It's pretty tasty. Yeah. yeah. Tastes good. I Buy it now. Taste it. All right, time to get ready. All right, you guys, we're finally in the city. So right behind us is the stage that Troy will be on tonight. Um, it's a little bit smaller than I even imagined, so it's kind of cool. It's going to be nice and intimate because he's doing bigger shows for his tour this year. Um, that will be all the way in October. So we get to see him before his album comes out, before all that comes out. But right now, before we can even think of Troy Sivan, all I can think of is food. So where the food at? <laughs> So Leigh Chanel found this list of places to go for food and the number one place was this place that we're going to right now. They say that they have the most amazing sandwiches so we're gonna check it out. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> That's about it. Loki, it looks like Hopcat. Your mighty meal of a sandwich. How you doing there Leigh Chanel? Did you figure out how to eat it? <laughs> no. Find out. Oh, this is crazy. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this. It's good. I like it. So, we just left the restaurant and it looks like they have street performers in Pittsburgh. So, let's check it out. Kids, don't try it at home. Don't try it at school. Don't try it at anywhere. Here we go. Fire eating. One, two, three. Oh, All right, here we go. Oh. Cheer. Once we got to Pittsburgh, everybody kept on asking us, are you here for the art festival? Is that what y'all call pride here? So, uh, no. So actually, now we're walking through the art festival because the art festival and the pride festival are going on at the same time. So exploring through some art before uh, all the pride festivities kick off. So we just walked a country mile. <laughs> we are drenched in sweat, but we are here. And we're gonna go, to go do the incline and see the best view possible from the top of this mountain. All right, so we're in the park. Okay. <laughs> we're not scared at all. So we went up on the incline. This is, yeah, 
it's it's crazy this is so cool you can't see my face right now because of poor lighting but it's okay um but yeah no this is beautiful oh my god <laughs> and we're going down yeah so me and my chanel are the only ones in the incline right now which is like amazing Woo, we're going down oh no. We're going down, we're going down, we're going down. down. Right, I got a little refreshing drink. We're inside Prime. Now we're heading to the stage with Troy Sabah. We're about to watch him kill it. Anyways. <laughs> Being a pride reminds me of my first pride parade, right? I was, I was living in Perth in Australia. I had just come out to my family and I said to my parents, um, I think I want to go to pride. It's like, it's in the city, can, can I go? And I was really, really nervous to even ask them. And my parents were like, Troy, we're coming with you. We're going, we're all going to pride. And that moment for me was one of the biggest moments in my coming out process. Because that was the moment when I realized my parents weren't just like tolerating their gay son. They were like, fuck yeah, we have a gay son. And that meant the world to me. 